question, how to make texts that have gradients in Editor X. So let's talk about it. So there are two ways, and I'm going to show you guys right now. So what I have done, and there's no real way to do it in Editor X from just clicking the text and actually making it a gradient. So what we're going to do as of yet, there will be. I'm very sure of it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we have two approaches that I have put together from Editor X, or excuse me, in Adobe XD that we're going to bring over to Editor X. We have a basically a hole punched version of I smell chicken because that's what we're doing today. All right, no hungry. So what we're going to do is I'm going to upload two of these assets. So I'm going to go to assets. I'm going to go ahead and or excuse me, let's go to my media. We're going to upload these puppies. We're going to go to my download. Do you feel me? Okay, definitely. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to separate these. Control E. We're going to yep as PNGs. And I am going to export this again as a PNG. Let's play. All right, let's go back to our Editor X. Let's pop these puppies into Editor X. Boom. And now these two approaches are different because maybe you want to do something specific to the actual, um, maybe you want to animate the gradient. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm just going to bring this I smell chicken to the center here. I'm going to scale this just like this. And also one of the things um, that I could do. So for example, what I am showcasing here is we have, let me go ahead and un, let me detract this. So what we're seeing here is I have a section here. All I've simply done is gone to background media and pattern and put in my linear gradient. I could do another gradient if I so wanted to just like this, but I'm going to stick with this. Now what I've basically done is I've brought this hole punched as you can see, the I smell chicken is essentially uh, the PNG part of the image. I am just going to expand this. And what I can do is I can go to my layers, select the section that the image I just put in, and I can manipulate the gradient that is actually behind uh, this. So I can go ahead and move this in just a little bit if I wanted. And as you guys can see, it's moving in a little bit over here. Now, of course, I am using a very particular example almost like a full section sort of takeover. But for example, if we have, let's say, let me go ahead and minimize this. Next, boom. I'm gonna go ahead and make this section, add a grid, I'm gonna do a two by one. I'm gonna stick this over here. And let's say this entire half of this section is actually white right let's just go ahead and make this a hundred percent of the pixel width here let's go ahead and do let's say dun, dun, dun. we're gonna add a quick container just for a quick thing here I'm gonna push this to the back right click I'm gonna go ahead and arrange send to back and I'm actually going to I'm gonna do one more thing here change grid layout I'm gonna to go to advanced I'm gonna add another row here I'm gonna push this up there we go and I'm gonna push this da, 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 this container I'm gonna push this into this quadrant here I'm gonna make it white there we go and I want to make sure that there is no border on this puppy okay all right so essentially what I would do is I would 100% both this section and this section so that this gradient, whatever I want to have behind here, maybe I just want the gradient behind this section, but essentially I can manipulate where, let's say maybe I just want this to be 100% here. Let's just type in 100%. Boom. And we want this section to just be plain white, right? Just do this, boom. Make sure it is going across both of these. There we go. And we're going to go to, we're going to expand this here. Nice. All right. So now we have basically a fake title. Of course, you can set the size that you want. You still have that gradient that you can manipulate in the background. And of course, you can continue doing what you want in these sections, whether that's adding a paragraph, adding, uh, you know, text, boom, you know, just doing some simple stuff. Quick add title. And maybe we want to add some uh, a little bit of a, a, a chicken image over on this side, right? Okay, easy day. So that's how I would do one approach or a little bit of a hack to gradients that you can actually control using text or basically hole-punched text 
in editor x the second option is essentially very simple you just take or create the edited or the type of gradient text that you want you export it you quick add you go to image change image you get that beautiful gradient piece in here you make sure you resize it pa boom ta -da an easy day and you can manipulate it like this so it's totally up to how you want to do things if you want to just very simply have text with gradients you can very simply just create it in a design platform of your choice very easily export it and do the SEO necessary to make sure that this at least is read as I smell chicken that's what you're trying to do but this is currently how I have been doing gradient text in editor X so I hope this was helpful again as a recap this is using a hole punch method essentially all I've done if you want to know how I did this in editor X was essentially I wrote out I'll go ahead and show you how this was built I have a path that literally is I smell chicken and I have basically what is this called D did an exclude overlap so just very quickly I'll do it again I'll type my name just like this I will draw a rectangle behind it and this is for XD but you'll get the same thing in pretty much any other design platform I'm gonna go to edit or object I'm gonna go to paths convert to path I'm going to select both of these right click and mask with shape or excuse me not mask with shape we're gonna go over to my tools over here my excludes my includes and all that stuff I'm going to hit exclude overlap and turn off the border and there we go so now we have a hole punched Brandon that we literally can see through anything on and just to show you guys that I'm gonna change this to red and I'm gonna drag this over this and you can see pretty much everything behind it alright ladies and gentlemen that is what I have for you today if you liked this video and it was helpful to kind of hack the gradient text sort of piece like this video, subscribe, and do not forget to, on the left-hand side of the screen right now, you are seeing other EditorX tutorials and things of that nature to help you expand your EditorX knowledge. So with that said, have an amazing day, and I will see you on some other videos. Have a great day. Bye.